Hello everyone, this is Anton again. I'm going to do a quick video here to show uh, me editing a PDF document and then what the what it looks like on my desktop after I make some annotations and markings on this particular PDF document. So let's get right into it. See, I'll make a few scribbles. I'll also change the color. And I'll do some highlights. Okay, so I've made a few annotations on this doc. You can see I've put in a square, triangle, circle. I've used a paintbrush. I've used different color highlighters within the document. And I've also used different color pen, um, basically uh, colors for blue, green, and red. And then some of the annotations I've changed up to where there's underlined annotation and then there's one with a highlighted text and both of them have um, an actual note um, attached an annotation attached to it as well so I'm going to go ahead and put this on the desktop and let's see how it looks from there okay we are now on the desktop let's go ahead and plug in the Max Lomi via USB and we'll go search for that PDF file, which is this one here. You can see it was last modified today. And what we'll do is copy this over to the desktop. And let's open it up. We'll shrink it to size here so that we can view this thing. And it's only a couple pages, so this should be pretty easy. Right off the bat, using the default PDF viewer here on um, the Mac, we can see the, the notes on the side that I left. This is a note and also another uh, annotation that I left. If we click on it, it takes us to where this annotation was made. We can see this one is the one that was highlighted in yellow and if we go to the other one we can see this is the one that was underlined on the on the max Lomi. we can also see that there are other annotations done here most of them were all done on this one page the square is here and paint is also here now on the paint we can click the actual text that is here you can see all of the annotations that I've made we can go in here and we can kind of click these and move this around so you can manipulate that portion if we click on the shapes the shapes cannot be modified after they've been put on um, let's select the this particular text that I highlighted so you can take the highlight and move it around the same with, again, any of the handwriting that was done on the page as well. So we have the different colors of handwriting that was done. We have the different highlight colors that are showing up here. The different shapes that have been added here as well. And you can see here the annotations are shown in the, the other column here. So what if I open this PDF in a different application? Let's see what we get. So I'm going to open it first in Google Chrome. Let's go ahead and bring this into the, the view here. 
and scroll down to the other page and just like in the the default application for um, opening the PDFs we can see that everything is here all the colors are there the annotations are here but you can see now with the annotations if I hover over similar to what we get on the Max Lomi the pop-up of the annotation is shown here if we go to the other one it does the same thing so depending on the PDF viewer that you're using um, also kind of changes the annotation uh, functionality and how it's presented in the document itself so let's open it up in another application this time we'll choose word So I've opened this up in Word and Word converts this PDF and if we look at it here we can see that there are no annotations on this here. So viewing the document in Word um, basically removes all the annotations. It does not rec recognize them at all. Let's try opening it up in Safari. Let's put the, the viewer here in the right place and take a look at the page two, which has all the annotations on it. Okay, so we have the annotations within the browser and all the markups that were done, all the shapes are there, all the highlights are there as well. If we go to the annotation, the annotation does not pop up like it did on Google. So if we hover over the other one or click in these areas, nothing shows up. If I right click on here, let me see if we get any options to show annotations and we do not. Okay, so we're going to try one more PDF viewer and hopefully I'm pronouncing this right, Zodo. Let's go to Zodo.com and this particular application I use on my Windows devices for editing uh, PDFs. Let's see how it works on the Mac and the file that we just edited on the Max Lumi. We'll go ahead and load that up. And if we go to the next page here, we'll pull down a little bit here so we can see more of uh, the application, the portal here. So it's web based. There's also a Windows client that you can download. And from here, we can see that all the markups and annotations that I did are shown on the document. Let's click on things. You can see we can still click on the, the, the handwritten items and move things around. But here you notice that we can also move the shapes. We could not move the shapes in the other, uh, the other PDF viewers. The highlighting is here. All the highlighting the annotations, if we click on the annotation, we go into comment there. We can see the annotation that we left. This is a note right here. We can also go in and leave additional replies on this here. And interesting enough, we also get a timeline on when things here were edited. I'm assuming here it's showing the different handwriting for each particular per, um, portion and it puts a date on it. So that's a lot more information that you get here using this particular application uh, PDF viewer editor than any of the other ones that we've used so far. Okay, so that's really gonna wrap it up for this video. Didn't wanna make it a really long video. Just wanted to show some um, 
functionality from when you do markups and annotations on PDFs on the Max Lumi, how that transitions over to the desktop. And again, just to reiterate, depending on the viewer, PDF viewer mm -hmm. editor that you use, you it will show up differently on the desktop than it does on the on the uh, Max Lumi device and you can get some different uh, elements will work differently uh, from an annotation standpoint or being able to manipulate and edit the, the document a bit further on the desktop depending on the application again that you're you're using. If you found this video useful please go ahead and like it. If you like the content that I'm producing please subscribe to the channel it really helps the video get, get out to other people who are looking for a similar content and have a nice day.